In this tutorial, I'm going to show you about how you can make an image look older than it is. And then you can combine the picture that you have of yourself with another picture that looks older so that those match up nicely. So a few things um, about older pictures is that they generally have a lot of things in common. They are black and white or sepia, which means that they look like they're like they're kind of brownish color, like the, instead of it being black and white, they're like brown and white. Um, sometimes the pictures are folded or creased or things like that, that or they're, they're kind of scratched up. So there's a couple things that you can do to make a picture look that way. So first, take a picture of yourself and uh, let's open that, let's open it back up. So I'm going to use this picture of me drinking some coffee, okay? So uh, first things first, I'm going to go up to where it says layer and I'm going to go to new adjustment layer where it says hue and saturation okay so I'm gonna call this new layer whatever it was that's fine okay and it's gonna create this whole new level right above my background picture okay so a couple of things about this is that this is tied to the stuff that's underneath it so if you mess around with stuff underneath this layer it's gonna impact that as well so you can adjust these sliders uh, in whatever ways that you'd like to give a, a shot to, knowing that the reset button is down here to help save you. It's really hard to get these back to zero by using the slider, but the hue, since it changes a lot of the coloration, this is how you can make everything look like you've gone insane, which can be quite interesting. If you're looking to make things sepia, you might want to have the hue in the red zone uh, when you're doing this. But under normal circumstances for what we're doing, you can have it at zero. We do want to, however, lower the saturation. And you see how as I lower the saturation, it's like I'm sucking all of the color out of the image. If you increase the saturation, it makes everything so painfully colorful that it often goes into like a reverse of what that color is. So we want to suck all, the, all of the color out of here. The lightness, if you adjust this, can, uh, if, if you're trying to copy your image to be on one that has like a lot of brightness to it, you might have to raise and lower the brightness a little bit to try to get it so that it matches up really nicely. I'll leave it at zero for right now. We can adjust this later though, okay? If you click back in here, you can adjust these if you need to. So we got the saturation done, but this is still a high resolution picture. So we need to add some uh, filters on here that make it look like what it is that we need to have happen, okay? So the first one that we're gonna do is we're gonna add something called noise, okay? So I'm clicking back on this filter right here, back, or I'm sorry, back on this layer, and I'm going to filter, and I'm gonna go down to where it says noise, add noise, okay? Now noise is gonna be something that makes it so that it's a little bit scratchy. So you see how uh, if I have the noise like kind of high, it looks like it's super staticky, well, that doesn't look like an old picture, that just looks like a terrible picture, okay? And you can move this around if you wanna see what it, how it impacts the background. I honestly only want a little bit of noise. I want 5%, just enough to make it look a little bit lower resolution, a little bit, a little bit scratchy, a little bit speckled. I also want this to be what they call a Gaussian distribution, okay? Um, it's going to make it, uh, make your picture look a little bit more uh, old as opposed to the uniform distribution. As far as exactly what those mean, honestly, I've played around with it, but I don't know what they mean. All I know is that I want Gaussian. And yes, it's pronounced Gauss. And then when I add that, you'll notice my picture is starting to look a little bit older, okay? So that's one step, um, but we need to add in a few more things. So number one, Let's add in a whole new layer, create layer, okay? So I have this layer in between the hue and saturation. I'm gonna go to my paint bucket. I'm gonna make sure that it, my drop layer is black and I'm gonna dump a layer of black on here. Yes, I know, it looks like I've just destroyed the picture, but we wanna add, a, we wanna add an effect to this layer of black, okay? So we're gonna go to filter, okay? We're gonna go to where it says texture and we're gonna go to grain Okay, I'm gonna go to grain. And we're gonna do a couple things over here in this grain thing. So first of all, it's kind of hard to see what's going on over here, but just, you're gonna have to trust me. 
You want the intensity to be about to be like 52, the contrast to be 50. But the thing that you probably do need to change is go from where it says grain type regular to have it be grain type vertical. Okay, and this is going to make it so that it kind of adds some vertical stripes to this, which is what you might get on an older picture. Okay, so once you have that effect, then you need to go making sure that you have the black layer selected, go up to where it says normal, and you're going to uh, change this to where it says screen, and that eliminates a lot of the black, but it still keeps some of the effects. So you can see how I have a little bit of like a vertical line going on in there, okay? And if you want to play around with this a little bit more, okay, if you want to play around with this a little bit more, you might want to change some of the, um, some of the uh, levels of intensity uh, to make it so that the vertical stripes are a little bit more scratchy. Uh, you might want to increase the grain a little bit, but all in all, this is exactly what I'm looking for. And if I feel like my picture looks good and I'm gonna compare it to uh, a different picture, because I'm gonna try to get part of me involved in that picture, okay? I'm gonna open up and I'm going to, no, I don't want Miguel Ferrer. As you can tell, I have way too many pictures on my desktop. Way too many pictures, way too many things going on, way too many things that I'm trying to, uh, trying to do, trying to figure out, okay? Do, 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 where? There it is, lunch at top skyscraper, okay? This is a very famous picture of some gentlemen that were building a skyscraper in New York City, and this is them having lunch. This is absolutely terrifying. So you might look to see which one of these people you wanna paste your face over, okay? So I'm gonna go to layer, and I'm going to merge everything down, okay? I wanna merge everything down. I'm actually going to uh, save this as a JPG file, okay? Saving this as a JPG file, okay? So now everything is all flattened down, okay? Even, or the things that we're looking for, this is good. Okay, so I'm going to highlight what I'm looking for. So let's let's add in, of course, my face, making sure to get all of the different things. And if I accidentally select stuff that I don't want, making sure I get rid of those. Okay, I might have to make some a little bit more uh, adjustments. Okay. Um, and of course I want to make sure that I got everything highlighted and I copy that pressing command C and then I paste it. Oh, look, I'm back in color. We're going to have to fix that in a little bit. Okay. I do, I do look like a floating jar L head. So I'm going to have to go in and I'm going to have to make it a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller man with a giant head. You notice that I'm facing the wrong direction here, so I might have to click on the border. And I might have to do a little rotation. Of course, if I want to get that guy's hat on my head, there's something else that I might want to do. I might want to go into the picture in the background, and I might want to copy that guy's hat lowering my brush size, super small, copy, and then paste, dropping that layer over here, So a lot of adjustments that I'm going to have to make to make this look a little good, a little bit better. But in general, that looks a little bit better. So now my wonderful smiling face is in there. 
Now, one thing that you got to keep in mind is that when you have something going on over here, this picture stands on its own, but the hue, the hue saturation doesn't copy over. So I would have to go back into this layer if I wanted to put my face in another person's picture, and I would have to do exactly what I did before. I would have to go into the layer, the new adjustment layer, have to do uh, those particular things with the hue saturation, okay? Add in that hue saturation layer, okay? And lower the saturation so that it looks like I kind of belong. And there you go. And now I'm hanging out in history with these fine gents, having myself a nice lunch, hopefully not staring downwards to my uh, certain and inevitable death. I hope you guys enjoyed this.